Clear. Clear. Hey. Hey, everybody. Welcome to uh, num episode number 17 of the Dead Walk Talk. Mm -hmm. Brought to you by the guys from Doom Gardens Horror Emporium. Max. App. Jimmy. Jimmy. Ron Jiminstein. And uh, we're missing... Uh, Chap is uh, on maneuvers this week. He uh, he's in deep. Yep. Couldn't come up. <laughs> Sometimes that happens. Yep. And here we are, and episode are. number seventeen, uh, the Walking Dead's episode. Uh, I ain't no Judas. Yep. What'd you think? What I think? Really? God. <laughs> really? Yeah. Wow. All right. So that's half a rubber chicken, anyways. <laughs> I thought I, well, you go ahead. I don't know. I, I thought the episode was great. So, but we got we got five episodes left this year. Yep, five. I, you're not liking it because there's not a lot of zombies in it. I think that that's why you're not twenty two digging it. Twenty three minutes in, I think, was the first was the was the zombie, uh, yep. destruction scene. <laughs> uh, pretty cool scene, obviously. Yep. Pretty cool curbing and uh, you know arms chopping off and. Things like that, but um, I don't know. Hey, again, you're sitting there. All they're doing is sitting in this prison. It's driving me crazy. They're just sitting in the prison. We had a nice um, musical interlude, and I felt as though maybe I should uh, be watching about the Von Trapp family. Yep. You know, <laughs> you know, you know what I mean? Like, the hills are alive. I, this, I, the music. And, and you know you're sitting there and impending doom is coming you, you've got Andrea coming to the prison telling them that they're arming up they're, they know they're arming up they've got they've got a, an army standing army of uh, that's the other thing she comes to the prison she says they got, they got an army coming you know they got fucking they're arming up and but there's good people in Woodbury right good people that you know are putting kids in an army and and like what are they doing to tell us that there's good people there. Nothing, really. They, they show this this lady, Karen, that talks to Andrea once in a while until, you know, and then when the next minute Andrea sees her, she's she's arming up and getting ready and looking at Andrea like she's got two holes in her head. Like, you know, and then you got the, the whole, it's it's going to be a huge cliffhanger, and we got five episodes to go. Mm -hmm. That's, so, that, I'm just... I'm, wait I'm just waiting for something to happen. I'm waiting for something to happen, okay? I mean, at least uh, Herschel's saying, okay, you know, it's time to do this. We should have moved out of here. We should have do something. Or, and he's talking. I thought the scene with uh, I thought the scene with Merle was awesome when Merle, yep. you know, recited the, the Bible to him. That was kind of cool. Yep. And, uh, and what's with Carol telling, t telling uh, Andrea to be, like, Carol is telling Andrea to go there and be mad at her, he killed the guy while she's sleeping. This is a woman that was abused by her husband for like 25 years. Oh, she's the warrior now. You know, I guess, yeah. Converted <laughs> into a warrior. Just, it's like, I don't know, I, I, was, I was just waiting. I'm just waiting, I'm just waiting, so. Anyways, what Wait, waiting for what? I'm waiting for... <laughs> I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting for them to go steal some APCs, drive through that gate, and or just stand back and lob some uh, serious artillery at this there's freaking hardware everywhere so you know i mean it's lying around the entire part of america is is like there's guns and ammo all over the place mm -hmm. just waiting for somebody to go up just take off with a couple of nice giant armored vehicles and give the governor some you know give the governor five episodes of serious <laughs> destruction and if the people at Doom Gorham's Horror Emporium had anything to do about it, they, they just keep rejecting our scripts because it's just, they're too violent. They're too violent, okay? But uh, we're just trying to inject some realism into this. Uh, well, that's, okay, well, um, that's, I'm glad you just said that because, see, we're going to argue here because I think that this show is actually showing a fair amount of realism. Um, if you've got uh, your band of troops, which would mean it's Rick, and Daryl, and I can't ever, ever remember. Is it, what's the Asian guy's name? Glenn. Glenn. And now Merle. But that's all you got. Three? Three against a couple hundred? Plus, if you leave, you've got your son there, and you've got your new baby. So, if you're talking realism, I think that's about as real as you can get. I mean, I wouldn't go and, uh, you know, try and 
overrun Woodbury if I had my family sitting in that prison. No, but they're they're talking like they want to fight. They're, well, they're... they want to defend. Uh, the governor came to them. They didn't go to the governor. They went to Woodbury to help their friends escape, and then the governor retaliated. But Rick's got more than... Actually, I'm glad that... You know what? Th I, this show's going to go down for me when Herschel dies, because Her Herschel is a saving grace. I love Herschel, and every scene he's in, and he just gets better and better. Like yesterday when he blasted Rick, I was like, awesome. Do something, yeah. And then he had the talk with Merle, and he kind of set Merle, not straight, you know what I mean, but he talked to him like a human being mm -hmm. to show that, you know what, you're kind of a dink, but, you know, I maybe I believe you when you're following. I mean, really, if you're in a, if you're in a group, you're in the group. So, I mean, you've got to follow the leader, which is what Merle said he did. And now I kind of like the route that he went because, in a way, he didn't say sorry to Michonne, but he said, I'm going to apologize to you the way that I'm going to apologize so mm -hmm. you can either accept it or not accept it. And, uh, you know, he's just kind of moving along. I mean, he's got a gun in his hand and he's working side by side with Rick. So I thought that was kind of cool. So hopefully Merle, and I think he said he'd, he would help them set an ambush or something. If, or something to go into, help. He would help Rick go into Woodbury. I think he, at some point, and I remember him saying that. So, he seems like he's he's really on Rick's side now. I think it's more because of Daryl, and Daryl's got a lot of pressure on him because he's got to keep him under control. But I really think the talk with Herschel yesterday kind of, you know, kind of set him. Yeah, in his mode, it's so. just they they keep. You're right. They, they keep reiterating things though. It's like yeah. you know, if Rick tells Daryl one more time that his brother's his responsibility. Oh, yeah. You know, like, okay, fine. He's his yep. responsibility. Like, yep. now, now there's five episodes. Yeah. Five. Something, you know, something big's going to happen. The I story's mean, been built. Yeah. So, you, you know, know you know what's going to happen because they've even shown it. They give glimpses of it in the in the preview. So, and I I know what you mean because you want action, action, action. And so do I. You know what I mean? But I, I like the, I like the, I didn't enjoy the first episode. We all know you hated it. Oh, <laughs> so, oh, but you know what? The last, the last two episodes for still, me. Still seeing my therapist. Yeah. I mean, last episode I liked, and I really, I really enjoyed this episode. I thought, you know what you, they've just done is that is they set the, the, the battlegrounds now because we know who's going to be with who because Tyrese and his group are unfortunately going to go with the governor. Not because... I'm betting Tyrese and his wife don't, though. During the battle, I bet you. I, that's what I'm, I'm guessing. Because as far as all they know right now, right, looking through, not the viewer's eyes, but through their eyes, uh, the, the group is okay, and Rick's a psychopath. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So let's go to the governor who puts on this awesome facade, and I have this huge city. Mm -hmm. Here's some food. This is wonderful, because they don't know what he's really like. But I think during the battle, something's going to happen, and you, like you, Tyrese is going to... I gonna... don't think that Tyrese and his wife are, are the kind to forget that they're living in America. Yeah, they're good Every, people. Everybody else is. The other know? two guys are, so. are, are dinks, you know what I mean? Yeah, they're, so they're, they're they'd, they'd to, probably yeah. side on the gun there, but I think you're... I, well, I know you're right, because I think once the battle starts, Tyrese and his wife mm -hmm. are going to have a change. They may not turn sides, but I think they might just step back and you, or something, you know what I mean? But they're not bad people, so that's, that's good. But... Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll 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 just say uh, you know, if we get to next week and and halfway in is the scene I don't know if you watched the sneak peek but the the sneak peek where the car gets stuck and they're on the on the uh, little did you see the sneak I peek for next week the next week's sneak peek was you know uh, Rick and and Carl and uh, Michonne have gone looking for yep. ammo yep and basically the the car gets stuck and then all these walkers come out if that's the if that's if that happens about twenty two or twenty <laughs> 30 minutes into the episode and then that's the big scene yep. and then we get to the end of the episode and nothing's happened is it shirt raging rip time then or? we got four episodes left <laughs> yeah. that would be four right now we've got five well they're leading up so. to the woodbury the woodbury massacre massacre or whatever well if it was us rolling in yeah. there well, it'd be the woodbury I mean, massacre because <laughs> and we all know there's a confrontation at the end with the governor and and rick because they showed in the, the sneak peek you know what I mean? Maybe not last week's, but in the clips, if you watch it, you know, whatever. So you know they're going to have a, a confrontation. So that's what it's going to lead up to. And I bet you that's how the season ends or, or who knows. But uh, I don't know. I, I just, you know, whatever. I liked last night's episode. I, I thought it told a good story. They kind of drew who's with who to lead up to the big battle. Now, whether they're going to turn coat or whatever, you know what I mean? Like Murrow might snap and go with the governor and... Who knows what's going to happen, but at least they're drawing sides, and Herschel's trying to set the ways. He blasted Rick, brought him back into reality. I mean, Rick's uh, Rick's a pretty... Uh, Are we allowed to retract? 
the rubber chicken. No, no. I, I'm just telling you. I'm just saying. I, I, and I look through Rick's eyes because I, I was thinking the same thing. I want more action too, but I'm looking through Rick's eyes. And you know what? I got two kids. And I said, if they were with me, I said, I can't go busting into Woodbury because he's got a baby. If he dies, right, who, who's going to, like, really, because they don't have that many people. So I'm looking at it through. Now, again, you can tell Rick's pissed because, he, you know, the governor came in and shot at his family. But you got to do it in a, so he goes out, he's going to go out and get ammo and with Michonne and stuff. But he's only got so many yeah. true people he can count on to be, like, uh, like you know, military-style people. I mean... Mm -hmm. So I mean, Herschel's got no leg. He's got his daughter to worry about. So. And that was cool what Herschel said about uh, about uh, um, Merle that he has military training because yeah. he was like a Vietnam guy. But and if they get rid of another big character this year or early next year, it's got to be Andrea because yeah. she's basically. I mean, you're you just you just got told by your friend that saved your life uh, yeah. for a whole winter and dragged your sorry, rotten, yeah. useless ass around yeah. that. She was hunted like a dog. Merle came after her, yep. you know what I mean, and all this sort of stuff by the guy that said he, that you know this guy yep. that's, that you're sleeping with. Yep. And you went back and you didn't do nothing, yep. right? You're you went back. Like yeah. why would you go back? She chickened out. Yeah. She's, Carol, uh, she's you know. I I I thought it was pretty cool when Carol, because she she's showing that she's uh, no nonsense now, eh? She's mm -hmm. the frail beat me housewife and I won't retaliate. Now she's a freaking warrior, man. She's carrying a gun. She's shooting people. She's bashing in skulls and she's telling Andrea what the fucking do to kill the the governor sorry but uh she uh you know but I we all knew we all knew he, he wasn't gonna die because he's the governor man he's like one of the big stars and you know it just makes Andrea look that much more cowardly and, and two-faced yeah. and I don't know you know what and I, I'll tell you something I don't mean to cut you off I'm so glad that they, she didn't come back to welcome open arms in the group you know what I mean? They patted oh, yeah. her down. They oh, yeah. would hardly talk to her. Yeah, they exactly. treated her. And that's how she should be treated. Exactly. And that's what she, she got what she deserved. You know what? And even the chicks in, or the people in Woodbury are getting sick of her, too. So she's kind of... She's she's burning out like... A, yep. You, know, you, you got to pick a side soon. Like, yeah, because you know, eventually neither she, side... She's not cluing in. Like, the, the people in Woodbury are warlike, and they're like, it's Woodbury or nothing, she, right? She just doesn't get it. She, you know, she doesn't. She's not getting it. No. So. So. But, uh, you know, I don't know. It's just... For me, this season started off really well, yeah. and so far since the break, I just have not been able to, it's like, okay, do something. This whole prison thing, mm -hmm. if they're in the prison next season, I'm really not going to be happy at all. Because <laughs> really, the prison is kind of a death trap, and it's, in a way. They make it, so. every episode, they make it seem more unsafe. Yeah. And uh, especially now that uh, Tyrese, you know, not knowing the good from the bad, do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. uh, he's going to give up the uh, the inside of the prison to the governor, mm -hmm. thinking that Rick's some psycho who talks to himself and is endangering the group. So unfortunately, a good person is going to kind of spill the beans and, and give the, the in, you know. So it's, yeah, I, like I said, it's a huge set that they built. I think they're going to try and get their money's worth for this year. And like I you said, I hope certainly hope they don't drag it on past yeah. the end of this year. Like, so five episodes yeah i do wish there was more action like so, like combat with vic morrow <laughs> <laughs> yeah I, yeah i haven't had the tingles in this second half yet like i did last season so mm -hmm. um i'm still waiting for that episode where i get the goosebumps but i haven't gotten it yet but other than the first episode I, you know I'm, it's progressing okay for me so all right well if you gotta get your goosebumps get them right here <laughs> Cause this is the dungeon, baby, and we like it hot. Yeah. Well, it's kind of cold down here. Actually, it's well lit. It is, you know. It is. We're yeah. working on the lighting for a couple of years. It's <laughs> it's getting hard on our eyes to read in the dark. So, anyways, Jimmy doesn't like it either. He, uh, no. He's working on a tan. <laughs> Not too much oil, buddy. Yeah. Okay. So, stay tuned for more uh, Dead Walk talk right here. Yep. We got uh, we got way better stuff in the walk than. Than, what is it? Oh, yeah. Walk, than talking dead. Whatever it is. And uh, stay tuned for more Doom Gorian reports brought to you by us. And uh, yeah, remember to load up your zombie survival kit. Because you never know when the undead get restless. Mm -hmm. Happens all the time. It does. Until next time, stay scared. <laughs> See ya.